take advantage of this amazing opportunity and call now. KCAL News Mornings. Good morning. Today is finally Friday. Yes. Longest week. <laughs> September 13th. Thank you for joining us on KCAL News at 5 a.m. and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Christine Lazar in for Chris Holmstrom. And I'm Kalina Estrinos and here are some of the major headlines this morning. How are you feeling right now? Uh, mixed feelings. Um, very overwhelmed. It's so tough. Living in mm -hmm. uncertainty, firefights are still in full force across Southern California, and thousands of people are trying to figure out what to do next. As of midnight, tens of thousands of Boeing workers have walked off the job, and this could have a massive ripple effect across the country. Plus, a new crackdown on smash and grab crimes across California. See what was just done to combat the problem. But first, we want to take a look at our beautiful forecast with Amber Lee. <sighs> our yesterday, beautiful Amber Lee. Yes. <laughs> My yesterday, I went friend. for a run at like 5, which normally would be like a no-go yeah. time for me. And there was actually a little chill in the air. It felt like fall. I, know, I was like, I okay, did. time to get out the Halloween decorations. Oh, I know. <gasps> Finally. Is that too soon? Join but today's me. the 13th, so no. that would be like a good day to like kind of kick off like, the spooky season. Yeah, it's I always think if you put it out, you know, in October, you only have a short amount to kind of Yeah, and then it's like it. time to like I do it. I put the pumpkins Christmas. out like a month ago. Get with the program. They're going to be so <laughs> dead by the time. No, 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 my fake pumpkins. Oh, okay. Pumpkins. okay. Yeah, the Lots Halloween of mold fake by the 31st of October. <laughs> all right, well, let's talk about our cooler weather because we all can agree that this is a nice treat after the really hot conditions we had at the start of the week. Here's a look at our next weather forecast. Current conditions still in mainly in the 50s and 60s. So you can see we have all the greens on the board. We've had this for the last couple of mornings, which has been really nice. Uh, we're not seeing any more of the yellows or the oranges, but we're dealing with temperatures this morning just a little bit warmer in some spots than yesterday. You can see pretty much in the basin, we're looking at temperatures anywhere from about three to four to five degrees warmer than this time yesterday. It's up in the high deserts where we're dealing with some cooler conditions compared to this time yesterday. But overall, temperatures are going to stay a little bit cooler than normal because of this cooling trend that we've been dealing with and then we will take it. So here's a look at our next weather forecast. We're looking at a mix of 70s, 80s. We'll have a few 90s for the high deserts, but I am tracking some changes in the forecast. So with my next weather forecast, I'll tell you about that first rain that we're expecting for the season and whether or not we're going to see more of it coming up. Back to you. All right, Amber, thank you so much. I do want to take a look right now at that sick alert we've been watching on the 91 this morning. This is a deadly crash on the eastbound side right at McKinley. Only the right lane is open at the moment, so you definitely got to give yourself that extra time to get out and get through the uh, backup this morning. You can see it's building in both directions. So again, leave early if you can. At one point, though, all lanes were closed. Right now, that's not the case, so hopefully traffic will start to ease up just a little bit. This this morning. This is a look at the delays right now, and I do still want to give you the alternate routes. Eastbound 60 or Magnolia Avenue will help you get right around that. We also have a crash on the 60 West before Rubido. Two left lanes are blocked off, and that is causing a backup out of Riverside. I'll keep you updated with more incidents and also travel times coming up. Breaking news now out of Chinatown. A three-story apartment building is burning in Chinatown, and this is live video. Firefighters, they arrived at the scene at North Bunker Hill Avenue in Depot Street less than an hour ago. They're trying to fight the fire and at the same time trying to evacuate any residents still in the building. At least one person has been critically injured and rushed to the hospital. We'll have a live crew on the scene and we'll bring you more information as it becomes available. We also have another breaking fire story, this time out of Canoga Park. This is where a fast-moving fire raced through an auto body shop at Gold Street and Alabama Avenue. This was just before 2 o'clock this morning. It took more than 80 firefighters more than an hour to put out that fire. The cause is still under investigation. We're told no one was injured. The bridge fire continues to burn out of control in some San Gabriel Mountain communities this morning. It's the largest active wildfire in the state, but firefighters say a break in the weather has helped them make some progress. So that is some great news. Mm -hmm. KCAL News reporter Rick Montanez is joining us live right now in Phelan with more on this. And we can see the activity still uh, right behind you, Rick. Good morning. 
Yeah, and you know, I can tell you the overnight update is minimal growth. Those are the words we're hearing, which is great news considering how big this fire exploded during the week this week. You can see behind us, we're at the roadblock here on Highway.